All right, guys, welcome back to Walden's World. So, my buddy at the racetrack actually wants this for his daughter, which is cool. Um, it's got the 125 motor in there. She can't run a clutch. So, I think if we can pull off the side cover, do a little abracadabra, and fix it. I actually took the semi-auto parts out of the uh, extreme that came with the bike and I believe that stuff will mount in there so stay tuned can we turn the three speed with the clutch into a semi-auto man it's a brand new motor I sure hope so alright so now we're going to have to take off this back brake anyway there's a cotter pin right here Our kicker here, the pull it off. 10 millimeter on it. I loosened the clutch cable already. That should pop out with a little bit of aggravation. And probably be able to pull it out the top. Not sure if we need to take this off or not. Got a washer on there. Alright. So, can't beat it. Join it. Loosen up the brakes. Take it all the way off. No big whoop. Ain't gonna beat me, right, guys? 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 Whatever. Whatever. All right, got her. Okay. All right, let's do some damage. Now, I got a suspicious feeling that when I got to do this, pull this uh, little shifter rod out of the back, you know what I'm saying? Cause it goes all the way through there. That I'm going to look... I'm gonna lose my oil. My whole point in doing this was not to lose the oil. You know what I'm saying? But it's a brand new motor, so probably nothing wrong with the oil change anyway. Here's the big question. What does she look like inside? And did I break the gasket? I've got another gasket on my shelf. God knows where. So that's not an issue at all. That's not a problem. Looks like the same setup, gentlemen. You know what I'm saying? So, we don't have the shifter. Oh, and my gasket's good. Nice. Uh, we don't have the shifter rod that comes all the way out. So, like on this one that goes up, and hopefully it's the same up top, um, we, we're missing that. So, Let's take this apart. We'll pull this shaft out and hopefully we'll be. All right, so we're going to take this out. It's got a spring behind it. That piece will also come out. So we won't lose that. And then we'll see if this thing wants to be nice and come apart. So, got that cover off, and there should always be one of these tabs. Make sure you get it bent out pretty fair. Alright, metal from inside the shaft, so we're going to clean this all off real good anyway. this stuff look like behind here all right so I think I'm gonna have to take this thing out because it's got so much tension that it's gonna have to be taken out I imagined okay 
So this goes to our quad. All right, so I took the uh, shifter off and uh, cleaned the shaft off and uh, lubed it up real good. So hopefully when I pull this out, because it's got a brand new seal in it, you know what I'm saying? So we don't want to tear the seal. We want to just come on out. Oh, crap. So we were right about the... Alright. That's in. Here's our thingamajig and dilly whopper. Alright. Alright. So we've got our uh, deal on there and we got our clutch on there. I've got my retainer deal behind my uh, little flywheel nut here. I mean clutch nut. So we'll impact this on right quick. Get our push plate put on. Alright. Snug it all up. I cleaned my bearing out and I re-oiled it. Okay, so get that in there. This goes in there. And this. Just like that. Alright, gonna oil up my shaft just a little bit. That one also. And let's see if we can slide her on. put a couple of bolts in and see what she feels like all right so if you're getting all these bolts in the right spot everything should be like three three eighths inch out I think the majority of them are the same size all right using this 1937 power drill is the first one ever made in the world And it's missing a few cells like me. Yeah. That thing might have had four pounds of pressure in it. All right. Got the cover on. Get the brakes back on. Okay, I just had the bolts. I had lost these for a week. All right, <clears throat> we're gonna set this clutch up right where it starts having tension. All right, 